Hi, my name is Christine Wagner, and I'm the president and co-founder of the Cure GM1 Foundation. As many of you know, my daughter Iris also has juvenile GM1. Today, we're going to hear a really exciting announcement from a researcher at the University of Pennsylvania and at the Orphan Disease Center, Dr. James Wilson. The University of Pennsylvania and various investors recently created a company called Passage Bio. And the goal of the company is to develop gene therapy for rare monogenic diseases that affect the nervous system using AAV-based vector technology. We've identified five programs that we've initiated preclinical work with, and the lead program is gene therapy for GM1. With respect to GM1, we believe that it's possible that if we correct the genetic defect in only a subset of the cells of the brain, that we could program those cells to secrete the normal enzyme that will then correct the neighboring cells. If this is the case, which we strongly believe it is, then gene therapy should succeed globally in this disease, despite the fact that we may not achieve 100% gene transfer with our vector. We evaluated many different approaches, but the approach that we decided to proceed with is injection of the vector into the fluid that sort of bathes the brain. It's a puncture into the area of the spinal cord at the base of the brain, right below the bone uh, of the skull. A single injection and infusion uh, of the vector that then achieves a broad, and stable distribution of gene transfer. We at the Orphan Disease Center, with support from Passage Bio, plan to initiate what's called a natural history study. And what that is, it's a, a study in human subjects, patients with GM1, and we're enrolling patients really with any form of GM1. And we evaluate them over time in a fairly systematic, rigorous way so that we can chart their course over time. And if we do this properly and in a way that is compliant with really all regulatory agencies, including what the FDA would expect this to be if it were part of a clinical trial, that we, as well as others in the community, can use this study as a way to compare the outcome of an actual therapeutic trial. So we hope uh, to initiate this by uh, the summer of this year. We've had incredible response by physicians and scientists from around the globe who study uh, the disease GM1 in patients with this disease. We've really come together as a community of, of stakeholders to try to make sure that the way in which we conduct this study captures the data uh, so that it supports our objectives and possibly the broader objectives of the community an important step towards developing the gene therapy program is enrolling patients in the natural history study. And we're, we'd be delighted to have the broad participation of the community. You can go to clinicaltrials.gov or you can go to the Orphan Disease Center website at the University of Pennsylvania where we'll, we will be uh, posting updates as we move closer to that milestone. The ultimate goal of all of these clinical trials and developing these treatments is that we will have a treatment that is available to all patients. It's a long road and this is the beginning of a new company with substantial resources to put towards our rare disease. It's so exciting to have that support and to know that professional drug developers and a biotech company will be dedicated to helping advance this treatment with the hopes of reaching all the patients so someday GM1 will not be a death sentence.